Hi friends, welcome to the channel Dinas. Happy Independence Day to all. Here we are discussing nursing research related questions and answers. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. And we will go to our uh, topic nursing research. Before that, uh, one more request. Uh, please download our Android app, the Nurse Academy. So today uh, there is an offer. Uh, one model test is uploaded there. So if you are attending and getting top score there, you will get a Amazon gift, gift voucher worth uh, rupees 500. So that you can use for purchasing any products from Amazon. We'll move to our topic, the nursing research related MCQs. First question, gender, age, class, region, type of disease and blood groups are measured on. Gender, age, class, religion, type of disease and blood groups are measured on. Nominal scale of measurement, ordinal scale of measurement, interval scale of measurement, ratio scale of measurement. Gender, age, class, religion, type of disease and blood groups are measured on. Correct answer. Nominal scale of measurement. Gender, age, class, religion, type of disease and blood groups are measured on nominal scale of measurement. So in details we will check what is nominal scale of uh, measurement. Nominal scale of measurement it is also called categorical variable scale. Nominal scale of measurement also called categorical variable scale. It is used to label variables in different classifications and does not imply a quantitative value or order. Nominal uh, scale is also known as categorical variable scale. It is used to label variables in different classifications and does not imply a quantitative value or order. In the same time, ordinal scale means it is used to represent non-mathematical ideas such as frequency, satisfaction, happiness, a degree of pain. So our uh, you know that pain uh, pain scales. So that and all comes under ordinal scale, where nominal scales uh, where it is mainly uh, label variables in different classifications such as names, blood groups, uh, disease uh, conditions, etc. are under nominal scale. Means names mainly the names of uh, things. Then. One, uh, another scale is inter interval scale. Interval scale means it is defined as a numerical scale where the order of the variable as well as the difference between these variables is known. Interval scale means it is defined as numerical scale where the order of the variables as well as the difference between these variables is known. Then one more scale is there that is ratio scale. The ratio scale means it is a variable measurement scale that that not only produces the order of the variables but also makes the difference between the known variable along with information about the value of the true zero. So that is about ratio scale. Next question. Random sampling or probability sampling includes all the following techniques except random sampling or probability sampling includes all the following techniques except Simple random sampling, stratified random sampling, cluster sampling, purposive sampling. Correct answer is purposive sampling. Random sampling includes simple random sampling, stratified random sampling, cluster sampling, but except means purposive sampling. Random sampling techniques are four. First one is simple random sampling. Second one is stratified random sampling. Third one is cluster random sampling. Fourth one is systematic random sampling. Simple random sampling means from the sample, a group of sample, it, it is there. So we will pick a random sample from here and there. That is a, a, a simple random sampling. Stratified sam, uh, random sampling means we will divide the uh, total group uh, according to their specific uh, 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 things. 
So if boys are uh, classified uh, in separate group, girls are classified in separate groups. Like uh, there, there will be separate uh, uh, groups will be there. From there, we will take uh, two or three uh, random sample from each groups. That is stratified random sampling. In the same time, cluster random sampling means we will make a uh, group. We will make a group or cluster, different clusters. That means, uh, if uh, uh, an example of uh, 10th class students. So, in the 10th class students, uh, a, there will be different division also. A, B, C, D, E. So, one uh, cluster means that is a one division. So, there are uh, different divisions are there in the 10th class. So, one cluster means one division. So, we, we can select any of the uh, class or any of the division from the 10th class. As I taught, it will represent whole 10 the class. So that is cluster random sampling. Systematic random sampling means it will take a, a specific number or fifth, fifth uh, it will make a, a series of uh, the sample, it will, uh, uh, the sample, it will take the kth positions. If it is a series of uh, number, so fifth, uh, fifth, every fifth uh, number or every tenth number or every twenty fifth number it will take that that method is known as systematic random sampling. Simple random means simply selecting. Stratified means it will uh, make different groups according to it uh, it category or it is specificity. So from there it will take two or uh, some uh, numbers of uh, samples. Cluster sam random sampling means it will divide the total group into separate clusters then pick one cluster systematic random sampling means it will select a uh, kth number of uh, it will take a ser serial wise uh, kth number kth number means it may be fifth tenth sixth or twenty fifth hundred thousandth like uh, uh, number they will pick so that is about random sampling technique then third question, the statistical approach which helps the investigator to decide whether the outcome of the study is a result of factors planned within design of the study or determined by chance is called. Descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, normal distribution, standard deviation. The statistical approach which helps the investigator to decide whether the outcome of the study is a result of factors planned within the design of study or determined by chance is called correct answer that is inferential statistics inferential statistics means it uh, it is uh, different from descriptive statistics that is descriptive statistics describes data for example descriptive statistics describes data for example a chart or a graph in the same time, inferential statistics allows you to make predictions from that data. So, descriptive statistics means it, uh, it is an example uh, in the uh, case chart or graph. Inferential statistics allows you to make predictions from that data or that uh, example. Then fourth question, a measure of central tendency which is calculated by numbers arranging in numerical order. A measure of central tendency which is calculated by num numbers arranging in numerical order. Standard deviation, range, median, mode. Correct answer, median. A measure, measure of central tendency which is calculated by numbers arranging in a numerical order. That is median. Next question. The variable in an experiment that is known from the start and does not change is called. The variable in an experiment that is known from the start and does not change is called. Dependent variable, extraneous variable, independent variable, confounding variable. Correct answer is option C that is independent variable. The variable in an experiment that is known from the start and does not change is called independent variable. In this case of dependent variable, it will change during the search. 
that's why it is known as a dependent variable independent variable means it will not change during the uh, course of process next question the degree of flatness or peakedness of a graph of a frequency distribution is termed as the degree of flatness or peakedness of a graph of frequency distribution is termed as standard deviation kurtosis skewness mode correct answer option b option b kurtosis kurtosis is a statistical measure used to describe the degree to which scores cl clusters in the tail or peak of a frequency distributions kurtosis is a statistical measure used to describe the degree to which scores clusters in the tail or peak of a frequency distributions it is three type kurtosis are, uh, are three types mesokurtic leptokurtic and platykurtic kurtosis are three types mesokurtic leptokurtic and platykurtic seventh question a measure used to standardize the central tendency away from the mean across different sample is a measure used to standardize the central tendency away from the mean across from across different sample is skewness range z score mode correct answer z score measure a measure used to standardize the central tendency away from the mean across different sample is z score next question which of the following is not a method of quantitative research which of the following is not a method of quantitative research grounded theory research correlational research quasi experimental research experimental research which of the following is not a method of quantitative research correct answer is option a that is quantitative theory research Gra sorry grounded theory research grounded theory research is an example of qualitative research Go grounded theory research means it is a systematic methodology that has been largely but not exclusively applied to qualitative research conducted by social scientists grounded theory is a systematic methodology that has been largely but not exclusively applied to qualitative research conducted by social scientists next question also uh, related to grounded theory the grounded theory approach was developed by the grounded theory approach was developed by heidegger glaser and strauss hasard densing the grounded theory approach was developed by correct answer glaser and strauss the grounded theory approach was developed by glaser and strauss next question another name for a bar graph another name for a bar graph polygon histogram normal curve line graph another name for bar graph correct answer is option b histogram another name for bar bar graph histogram next question chi square test is used to test chi square test is used to test difference in proportions dif difference in means of two independent variables relationship between two bivariate variables difference in mean of three or more set of variables chi square test is used to test correct answer is difference in proportions chi square test is used to test difference in proportions 12th question the type of research focused on finding a solution to an immediate practical problem is termed as the type of research focused on finding a solution to an immediate practical problem is termed as basic research applied research 
explanatory research a descriptive research a type of research focused on finding a solution to an immediate practical problem is termed as applied research correct answer applied research 13th question which of the following data collection method has better subjectivity which of the following data collection method has better subjectivity self reports observation biophysiologic measures questionnaires correct answer is biophysiologic measures the data collection method has better subjectivity that is biophysiologic measures next question the principles of ethics in nursing research includes the principles of ethics in nursing research include beneficence respect for human dignity justice all of the above principles of ethics in nursing research correct answer all of the above next question basic principle that are accepted as being true on basis of logic or reason without proof or verification is termed as basic principles that are accepted as being true on the basis of logic or reason without proof or verification is termed as assumptions hypothesis constructs prop propositions correct answer assumptions basic principles that are accepted as being true on the basics of logic or reason without proof or verification is termed as assumptions next question turf turf or turf analysis means totally undisputed research fund analysis task undisputed research research and fund frequency analysis totally unduplicated reach and frequency analysis none of these turf analysis means correct answer is option c that is totally unduplicated reach and frequency analysis turf analysis is used for understanding the potential of target market totally unduplicated reach and frequency analysis it is used for understanding the potential of a target market next question sort ana sort analysis stands for strength weakness opportunities and total analysis strength weakness opportunities and threat analysis standard weakness opportunities and threat analysis standard weakness odd and threat analysis sort analysis correct answer option b strength weakness opportunities and threat analysis sort analysis means strength weakness opportunities and threat analysis so that is about research question so if you have any questions means you can comment in se uh, comment sections so i will try to clear clarify your doubts so thank you for watching this video please like and share with your friends and also uh, we will upload more uh, videos in coming uh, section uh, coming days so please support us bye bye